the sports, okay? Happy Valentine's to you all. Hey, uh, welcome to the second uh, segment on the spot. The show that profiles, uh, profiles uh, lives of uh, public figures uh, from politicians, musicians, actors, footballers, as well as uh, motivational speakers. Today I'm hosting a controversial you know, uh, motivational speaker who is an, uh, also a pan-Africanist, you know, I would like to believe. He is an author, a philosopher, social entrepreneur, a charismatic preacher, as well as a musician. You know, he has written books, namely, going places in the spirit uh, so you want to be the master as well as uh, shopping skills he has had shows uh, i mean on uh, tv namely behind the gospel joshua show as well as uh, the late debate he is the ceo of Institu institute of farmers of thought he shall be narrating his journey in life from being a seventh day adventist i uh, you know author a pan-africanist uh, to date i'm talking about bishop Maponga, he's the man. Hagomanaga. So right now, like you, I mean, guys, we end up uh, uh, Facebook Live right now, so you can watch uh, the man himself. He is in studio uh, with me right now. It is an honor to have you on the show, Bishop. Thank you very much, and good evening, one. Good evening, all to all your listeners out there with DJ Ola <laughs> on the after drive <laughs> on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you? What can you give you? I do madzi do njema zina wongoro madzi ukanisham. Ne kuro madzi ukanisham. So what is it? <laughs> so happy Valentine's to you, Bishop. Uh, do you believe in Valentine's? 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 You don't even believe in Valentine's. We are here to celebrate a child molester in this day and age. You know that sometimes Africans we just get carried away by stupid and silly holidays. So you, you, don't even, you, don't, you don't even believe in uh, Valentine's? I don't, I, don't, I don't even want to know about Valentine's. <laughs> It doesn't appear on my calendar. I don't have to wait for someone to tell me when to love my wife. Okay. And when to love my girlfriend. <laughs> yes. It's long, but for, of course, a message for all the Valentines. Yeah, yeah. We must have the real Valentine uh -huh. in November. In November. Because that's when the kids are being born. Uh -huh. Oh, so, November. So for today, you want to say, don't don't eat what you haven't paid for. <laughs> don't eat what you haven't paid for. That's Bishop Mapoka for you guys. <laughs> it's not going to be an easy ride. Besides, I just know about that. I'm fine. <laughs> Okay, guys, so everyone on social media right now, Facebook page, uh, Stifem page, as well as my page, DJ Ola7 Stifem, talking to Bishop Amaponga. So we are still in the month of love. Today being Valentine's Day, I caught one of uh, your statements there, uh, Bishop. He said, um, when he says, I love you, ladies, don't ask why, um, ask away. Love needs a physical address. Lend, um, marry the land, not the man. Close quote. What do you mean about that? Women in our tra ancient, ancient tradition, mm -hmm. they, they did not marry the man. Mm -hmm. They married the estate. Mm -hmm. You marry the woman to the land. Yeah. So if a man wants to love you on Valentine's, he must go and uh, love you on his land. Mm -hmm. So that after his seed has fallen in your womb, mm. your children can inherit the land. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when you say I love you, don't ask why. Mm -hmm. That's a stupid question. <laughs> Does, oh, don't the say real, why. The real answer is where. Where? Because even love needs a physical address. Mm. You cannot love me on WhatsApp. You can't love me on Facebook. Okay. You can't love me on SMS. Yeah. You need a physical address. Mm -hmm. So where does that loving take place? Yeah. And I believe that if you want to have a beautiful life, mm -hmm. learn to understand that estate mm -hmm. is more important than an affair. Mm. Because actually you end up in affairs. Yes, yes. And not yes. have an inheritance for the children. Mm. And for men that are out there, you must have two wives. The first you must have two wives. Two wives. The first wife is the land. Mm -hmm. The second wife is the one who gives you children. <laughs> so it is uh, Eden, uh -huh. Adam, and Eve. Uh -huh. If you don't have Eve, mm -hmm. it's illegal to reproduce. Well, I think maybe you mean uh, physical. That is in wives. Wives. As in polygamy, you know, set up. <laughs> That's still a polygamous relationship. Okay. You must love land. your land as much as you love your wife. Uh -huh. And protect your land as you protect your wife. Was the first wife will always help you to look after the second wife. Oh, that's powerful. That's and so women powerful. Under, women must agree, uh -huh. you are the second. You're, you're the second. not the first. You're not the first. If a man loves you more than he loves his land, mm -hmm. it's a recipe for poverty. <laughs> <laughs> In the streets of social media, they refer to you as uh, the spring of wisdom and uh, knowledge. So you believe you're, you're one? I don't believe nothing. Uh -huh. I'm just living my life. You're just living your life? And I'm not sent to everybody. Uh -huh. Those whom I've been sent to, 
in this era they hear me mm -hmm. the rest of not the, everyone the rest who don't hear me don't worry mm -hmm. ask your children at home <laughs> and uh, ask your friends what does he mean <laughs> <laughs> bishop of maponga all the spot you are yeah, i'm a bishop is about the food exactly uh, yeah you're yeah. your one outspoken preacher you know with a number of uh, uh, people agreeing to your teachings uh, the depth of your teachings um on another, another, another level, sorry. Uh, my, 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 my teachings, the end. I know who Zamu to get a tears of Ganaga, but how do you do it, uh, Bishop? Zuna, Zuna Paviri, Chikoro Chaganak, Kanaka Gona Ziza, was also Kanao Hirida Kumba, Wayne's and his. Yes, was Zungura, Wundi Wesau, was Saranishanga Pats, Dog Ziza. No one wanted to get a tank by Chimba, or your Chimba in a plastic ratchet. Who shall to Konda, some big bonnet Dumbune Makai is what you are a plastic, who not took an hour tank at Chimbo, to a plastic with a good hairpass, or your Chimbo, my plastic duty. Until we reach that level when we can take the gospel and remove the. the, the Cosmetic, mm -hmm. you know, packaging, mm -hmm. which is a colonial system. Yeah. He has a matai, mm -hmm. mabachi, kuyimba, mm -hmm. marriages, what, what so mm -hmm. all these colonial things, which mm -hmm. is a colonial culture, which has now almost turned up to almost sixty percent mm -hmm. of what Christians practice in church. Mm. It's actually Western culture. It's Western and, and, culture. And they called and they call the gospel, mm -hmm. the gospel, giving mm -hmm. that all time religion. <laughs> you can figure baju chubula zia. And so how indeed Christ was so quite. <laughs> Let's go to real core issues uh, that we need to be discussing. We are going to, I mean, uh, focus on that uh, later on. So some of your teachings are they? I mean, uh, are they based on uh, your experiences or uh, maybe dreams? Education is the dreams are the visions mm -hmm. are there. Mm -hmm. But I've now moved to a space where I call direct downloads, where I I'm able now to sit around early in the hours of the morning, mm -hmm. say about three, four in the morning, and apply my mind to to an issue mm -hmm. and have a debate with myself and be able to, to, to download quite a bit of content. I'm writing wow. my own Bible now. The Your gospel, own Bible? The Gospel according to Mapongo J. We're on 210 chapters now ah. where basically I'm now trying to put a bridge mm -hmm. between oral tradition, mm -hmm. Christian tradition, Islamic tradition, mm -hmm. and African tradition mm -hmm. so that we can have a hybrid space what is life? What is love? How did what you come up life? with that idea of writing your own uh, Bible? The Gospel according to Matthew, the Gospel according to Mark, the Gospel according to John. Uh -huh. So it was according to them. So oh, it, it was according uh, to, to them. them. That's, how, that's what the Bible says. Kata Marikon, mm. Kata Lukon, mm. Kata you know, Iwanu. Yeah. So why can't you have a Kata Maponga? So it will be the Gospel according to Maponga. The way I see it. The way I see it. So you want to impose it on, or it on us? No, it's mm. my Gospel. It's your Gospel. It's my gospel. It's not for... No, no, you, can, you can read it if you want. Uh -huh. yeah, but or if read. you want. If you want. Okay. Yes, but it's my gospel. <laughs> it's, it's my reflection. I like that. Yes. So <laughs> you, are not, you are not compelled or coerced or persuaded <laughs> yeah. to like me. This yeah. whole thing of uh, you know people, yes. kind of this mob psychology yes, yes, kind yes, of yes. religion. Mm. People must like you. I've gone past liking. <laughs> I've gone past liking. <laughs> Bishop. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> That's Bishop Mopoka for you. So, Bishop, uh, you have got so many titles to you, I mean, to your name, uh, but we shall uh, talk about it uh, as we progress uh, with the interview. So, to begin with, uh, you are Zimbabwean born, but spent most of your years uh, abroad in South Africa, UK, as well as, uh, you know, United States. Uh, you are the first born in a family of uh, five. Briefly, what, what research, yeah? yeah, very true. That's what I do, you know. <laughs> so, briefly, tell us about your upbringing, Bishop. I bring young 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 I'm named after my grandfather, mm -hmm. so Marara Joshua the third. So okay. he was Marara, then he named his other son, then uh -huh. he named me also. Mm -hmm. So I come from a very stab stable, mm -hmm. big family. Yeah. My grandfather had eleven sons and six daughters, mm -hmm. and uh, my father is number six, and I happen to be my number one in my family. Wow. My mother uh -huh. is, uh, and grand my mother and my father and mother mm -hmm. have been married for the past 54 years wow and on that on that note mbuya wangu ano bereka mai ndi mai mbedzi mvenda varemba boko ko papa mi valimpo pa yeah seguru ano bereka mai mzulu mndeveri vana sibanda vana jamela hlato ngahlula le thambo baphamalo ba kwabula wa love okay mbuya ano bereka baba ni mchangani ndi tembe kuva ku Mozambique wow seguru ano bereka baba ndo shoshe Fuzi jena, chigara mboko, gara mashamba huda, wana maponga, makaranga, uboho, huiro. Ate huiro, amdaraga. Azuli kutara hudi huiro unye flu. Unokaruga wapida maikuza. 
I need to have a while. So how was life back then as compared to uh, this era? I, I happen to have a, quite a tapestry mm -hmm. of experiences from, I could put them in phases, mm -hmm. from the time when my father joined the ministry in the, in the late 60s, mm -hmm. and the time when we were holding farms in, in the Chilonga, yep. you know, supplying you know, corn and peas to spa then, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, and yeah. I remember riding with my father on a bicycle crossing mm -hmm. Runde River, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then war broke out, and my father was um, on death on death row, he was mm -hmm. the Secretary General for the law field okay. for uh, the liberation of the country, mm -hmm. so he, he was re released on the amnesty of 1979, mm -hmm. so life changed, because we lost our, mm -hmm. our, our houses and everything, oh, yeah. so we moved over to Mutare, Chimani Mani, Nyahodi, Boscat Farm, mm -hmm. Papiko Kubaya. Yeah, yeah. So we got a farm there, we started living there. Matsanga broke out. Mm. My mother was almost killed. Hey. We ran away again and came back to Bikita. Yeah. And that was just after independence. Then the guys Patugui Bikita. Then I went to Buluway and I'm Dara publishing director for some Adventist uh, church. Yes, yes. I happened to get to Solusi then. Mm -hmm. They moved him to Wanki. I lived in Wanki for some time. Mm -hmm. And then we moved back to Mkwasini. And then I for my Feather studies and stuff. Then I started running around the world, mm. and, uh, UK, you know, Amsterdam, Netherlands, yes, and, uh, and, uh, all over the world. Then back to, <laughs> but Africa. I've almost toured almost, mm -hmm. almost the, the greater part of Africa. Yeah. Really, mm. wow. So in most of your pictures, I see you holding um, a script. You know, even uh, Pamuno from Bye Bye. Mm. Uh, what does it uh, symbolize? I suggest that we pick up a day mm -hmm. and I'll come and unpack for you mm. a thinking tool okay. on that chapter. It's a full lecture on its own. I want to be able to finish. Yeah, yeah. But time, culture, mm -hmm. history, uh, connectivity of the past, the yeah. ancient knowledge, mm -hmm. architecture, and wisdom mm -hmm. is actually transmitted into sticks and crafts, which mm. our forefathers did. Mm. So when you buy a stick, you must be able to read it okay. as to what, what is being said. Mm -hmm. These guys who are doing this stuff, they just think they're doing it. Yeah. But we who, who are on the spiritual eye, when mm. we look at it, we can actually see the messaging. That you can read can through, look, you can know. look at my head. Yeah. It's all chords mm -hmm. that you have not been able to unpack. The health. So it doesn't. It, it does have a, a meaning. Yes, you must. You must eat orange. Mm -hmm. You must eat white. You must eat blue. You must eat green. Mm -hmm. You must eat white. It, on all these colors. Yes. Actually, the color of nature itself. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a dietary pattern. This is also a healing pattern. Mm. The medicines in the bush. Okay. Are in the same colors. Mm -hmm. The red herbs would heal the blood. Mm -hmm. The green will heal the gut. And they will heal the mind and etc. It's right there, over and above fashion, architecture, mm. you know, family inclinations. Yes, you no, know, yes. the four corners. Who are the four grandfathers that make you? So the it's circle, just a symbol, but cosmology. But it, so I mean, Bishop, is it just a, a symbol, or probably it's not to shanda something? This is my library. Okay. This is my library. Mm. So I constantly carry knowledge with me. So whenever you want to talk to me and you mm -hmm. see me putting this thing down and mm -hmm. I start talking to you, mm -hmm. you may not know what hit you. <laughs> <laughs> Bishop, but when you chimbo pepe, do not chimbo zaga sera siya. Anu maikuwa gorea kuwa kuwa kuchoka kuwa kuchoka chimbo. Kwa zuzuku kuwa kuna kuchoka chimbo. Mwisho kazi chimbo ina gazibat. Zaga gazibat. But chimbo hizi pa kusena kwa juga. Zaga sera ni ma design aya. Anu ya toriwa zuzuku zaga sera na wewe. Kuchungori amaja na kagorwa designs. They are they they all have different meanings. Mm -hmm. They are the no carries for war. Yeah. They are no carries for support for mm -hmm. walking. They are yeah. no carries for wisdom sharing. Mm -hmm. They are no carries for you know basically clearing bushes. There are mm -hmm. no carries also for treatments mm -hmm. which are treated okay. as, as it were and mm -hmm. they can be used and there are others for instances. So where I, you can I, actually was, I don't know, 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 stuff like that. Okay. So for hunting for mm -hmm. example. So mm -hmm. it's not just about carrying a stick. Oh, yeah? The question is what kind of a stick mm. and what kind of Work are you gonna be doing for mm. the day? So, but for you, I didn't bring anything. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, I didn't bring nothing <laughs> for you. <laughs> All right. Even your attire is unique. What's the inspiration behind it? Everything is colonial. Mm -hmm. We're dealing here with the dominant culture mm -hmm. of the white man, who has actually told us what we look like. Mm -hmm. Actually, on Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, mm -hmm. Saturday, I came up with my first presentation of a Zimbabwe traditional dress. I've designed one. Okay. Which I would want to share with the country. I'll do maybe three or four samples. Okay. And then we'll do a... a I must come here for, for National a National dress. Uh, yeah. But there was a... Uh, there was one which was designed, uh, I think... Uh, I don't know how to do it. 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 I don't
combined all these cultures together okay. to come up with what I might want to mm. call a, a hybrid. Some people are calling the prostitution of culture. Mm. But in a in a cultureless mm -hmm. but yet educated Zimbabwe, mm. I think there's a space for tolerance and uh, you know convergence. Okay. You know, where we can some almost say when you put on this, you're almost representing. plastic. My side effects mm. when you sweat mm. and your body is absorbing all these plastics mm. into your body. Mm. Someone must do a research. Mm. The relationship between plastic clothes and cancer, you know, and mm. begin to find out exactly are these clothes fashionable as they are? Mm. Are they healthy as compared to back tree clothes and skin clothes? So I'm not saying go back to the skins, mm -hmm. but dress when you are going to buy and the real clothes that are healthy for the body, yeah. they're unaffordable. Mm. These are the, the linens. These are the cottons, mm -hmm. genuine cotton, yeah. which you don't have trace of plastic. But it's even bombera. It's not because of my plastic, it's my underwear, you know, it's not English. So it's not plastic and our eh. bodies are absorbing lots of plastic, mm. which is, we're not talking about GMO foods. Yeah. We also need to talk about GMO clothes. And see exactly. clothes, yeah. GMO clothes, GMO clothes. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And see what is the impact of silicon, mm -hmm. which they put in the bras mm -hmm. linings of the women. Yeah. When that silicon slowly leaks into the woman's body, mm -hmm. is that? I, I'm not saying I'm an authority, mm. but I would love someone to go and find out mm -hmm. what are the effects of silicon when they're absorbed into the body. <laughs> and I beg to tell you ahead of time, <laughs> we are going to end up having some cancer researches that are coming up. <laughs> yeah. So your father was a pastor and uh, you studied their theology in the U.S. And ministering uh, the world. And was it something you have always uh, desired to do or maybe you were influenced by uh, your father to do so uh, since he was a pastor? I wanted to do boxing. My father beat me. <laughs> My father beat me to church, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Why you wanted to do yeah. boxing? I did boxing for six years. Yeah. Uh -uh. Proper stuff, yeah. So when you when you know so my father's gonna put you on my Facebook, then I don't know, no 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 but anyway for on for my moral mm -hmm. compass, yeah. It was most reasonable that I looked for something that was totally different to mm -hmm. the character that mm -hmm. I was formulating. Because within that space, yeah. which I was moving into, mm -hmm. yeah, I did weightlifting, I did boxing and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I felt I was actually sliding away into, I don't know if I would have been alive by yeah, now yeah, with that yeah. kind of space. Mm -hmm. So I'm not regretting mm -hmm. having moved here. I only regret for having marketed oh, yeah. one aspect of transporting people to heaven mm. so that they're absent from this life. Okay. So I was basically selling passports to disappear to heaven. <laughs> disappear to heaven. <laughs> you know, but we, we we have work to do here. Uh, Bishop. We have work to do here before we go. <laughs> so Bishop, you served for SDI, uh, for the SDI uh, for 33 years. In the, Is that correct? Yes, sir. Plus. Yes. Mm. Plus, okay. So according to online publications in 2020, you were allegedly suspended by the SDA in a letter signed by the uh, Southern Africa Evangelism, mm. Personal Ministries Nature and Retention Director Michael Rugube Nguaru said they were concerned. We were classmates, by the way, with Nguaru. Oh, really? Yes. So he said uh, they were concerned about the content of the gospel you were preaching. Mm. The manner in which it was uh, communicated, hence, was banned from attending or speaking at any function of the church in the Southern and Indian Ocean regions. Close quote. So, Bishop, do you, um, I mean, do you confirm the above? I can confirm the above, mm -hmm. but the letter does, is not even worth the paper it's written on mm -hmm. for two reasons. Mm. The church does not work like that. All Adventist churches, we have a local church mm -hmm. board where all membership of all administrators mm -hmm. is being housed. Yeah. From the local church, then we have the field or a conference. Mm -hmm. From a conference, you have the union. Mm -hmm. The union, then you have the division. Yeah. Now, this letter was written from the division. Mm -hmm writing to a church member mm. who's at the bottom. Mm -hmm. There's no, this is actually un unprecedented. <laughs> it has never happened that the GC disciplines... <laughs> uh, this is an abuse of power uh -huh. at its highest because Nguaru does not even have power to do what he did. Uh -huh. he, he, should, he should have mm -hmm. spoken to the union mm -hmm. and the union speaks to the conference. Mm -hmm. The conference speaks to the district director, district director yeah. who then comes to my local church mm -hmm. and they sit me in a church meeting. Yeah. And then they can dis disfellowship me mm. or sanction me from mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. It means what Nguaru did right there, he must now continuously do it. When mm. any member does anything wrong, mm. the division must now stand up and discipline Pass him, which is actually un unpractical. And actually, I laugh when I look at this mm. because the whole Adventist church mm -hmm. in the country and beyond, they kept quiet. Did you, did you, did you then try to uh, maybe talk to Nguaru since he, uh, he was your classmate? He was my classmate. Mm -hmm. But what can I say to him? 
the man has got power. He's just, he's just, he's just been dropped from the church, actually, mm. also. He's now retired, also, <laughs> doing his own battles on the side. But I'll, it's not we don't have time for that. But... <laughs> You, you're playing with a horse that doesn't even know his riders. Okay. So you're going to abuse me today, mm -hmm. tomorrow when they abuse you. So I'm, I want to ask Vinguaru now, where, where are you? Eh. And after you did what you did, where are you now? But are you beat after the decision? I, I, am, I feel sorry for him eh. more than for myself. Uh -huh. But of course, he tainted my image for a benefit that he knows best, mm. why he wanted to do that. Mm -hmm. Because he has policy on his table. Mm -hmm. Before he sent the letter out, mm -hmm. you'd have called the division conference committee mm -hmm. and said, this is what I want to do. Yeah. And they would have advised him. They mm -hmm. had lawyers church policy people, conference secretaries, mm. division secretaries who know the church protocols mm -hmm. to its best. There's a danger of putting people in power <laughs> who don't have a full understanding of how the system operates. Mm. So this for me is an abuse of power. I don't even want to give it the dignity that it deserves. Mm. Let those who did it and those who derive joy from it continue to enjoy it where it is okay. but it's not worth my but time. But I want to I want to know, I want to find out from you, in what way exactly did you communicate the gospel to the extent of you being banned from the SDA? The whole idea I've just explained to you mm -hmm. when we emphasize colonial culture and our, our, our response towards social issues mm -hmm. is detached from the community itself. I'm very grateful mm -hmm. for what uh, Tagure is doing mm -hmm. and, I, and I think he has won my heart mm -hmm. where for the first time I'm beginning to see but he's doing it at a personal capacity yeah. where he's now walking over to the communities and mm -hmm. we've been contributing offerings yeah. for the church for the past 200 years. Wow. We can't account for mm -hmm. that. When you go on the list of people who are ex externalizing money in the, mm -hmm. in the country, yeah. the church is included on mm -hmm. that because we've been moving money mm -hmm. to the system, as yeah. I've explained it, mm -hmm. for years. Yeah. But we've never seen it coming back. Mm -hmm. We've we built our own churches, yeah? we've built our own schools, and etc. but we don't see this system mm -hmm. bringing funds down. And when you begin to raise these issues, you are bitter, you are not happy with the church, mm -hmm. you must, uh, you know, you're trying to make money out mm -hmm. of the church. So, and, and, and for me, I don't have to try to be an Adventist. Mm. I am <laughs> born an Adventist, <laughs> born and bred. I am actually one of the best Adventists they can ever find. Are you, educated, are you still Adventist? Educated from their best institutions, the best professors. Mm. If but they want to reference Adventism, you better ask me. But are you, are you still Adventist? What does it mean to be an Adventist? Ask me first if I'm an African. Uh, no, 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 not, not African. You're asking me, I can ask you also. Okay. Yes. Adventist, are you still an Adventist? Since Magans know If our... Adventism means institutionalized waiting for the second coming of Christ, mm -hmm. then I'm not working and functioning within the peripherals of the institution. <laughs> but if, it, if Adventism means waiting for Jesus, yeah. then Catholics can be Adventists. Okay. Lutherans can be Adventists. <laughs> Baptists and Presbyterians, so Pentecostals and Episcopals. Uh, so anyone who is waiting for the second coming of Christ is Adventist. So you are waiting so, for the so, Advent. So, so, so from the way you're explaining, you were more like a rebel from your, I mean, your fellows. Oh, well, rebellion is one thing. Conformity is another thing. Mm -hmm. You can judge which one is better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bishop Mapoka on the spot. So, yeah, we are live on Facebook page, Style FM page, as well as my page. So, judging from the way you speak or even preach, I would I, I would assume, I, I mean, I would uh, want to assume, good team, um, you are a strong believer of the African religion. Mm. And how did you transition, I mean, the transition, you know, from being a pastor uh, at SDA uh, to becoming a pan Africanist? Shaman, would you grade one when you figure Shangu says that? Uh, I think one, uh, maybe grade five. Let's move fast. Yeah, grade five. What three, you form one. They are around uh, five somewhere. College. Tago <laughs> nine. It goes no more size. Triple nine. Maba nine. Saka uno otinde gua guchinja shango and it. Guchinja ma brook. Guchinja hembe. No kutu rudi. No kura. Asip fungwa zifanu kura and it. Fungwa zifanu kura. Zifanu kura amazi grade one. Ngati kure. So when you look at a person, when mm -hmm. you're growing physically. You must also grow mentally. Mm. That's why Paul says, when I was young, I spoke like a young boy. Mm. I did what young boys did. But now I'm grown up now. Mm -hmm. And I speak like a man. And when I was a kindergarten, mm -hmm. when I was a pathfinder, mm -hmm. when I was a master guide, and I spoke like a master guide. I mm -hmm. spoke like... But now in my 53 years later, when I look and consolidate all this information, mm -hmm. which I have studied from mm -hmm. African literature to ancient literature to... You know, all the stuff around, including Adventist theology and other theology. Yeah. And you consolidate it together. I think I got a brain on my shoulders. Mm -hmm. Why would God create us with a brain <laughs> and then not allow us to use it? <laughs> then what is it, what is it for? The head is not for cosmetic use, mm -hmm. for the purposes of thinking. Mm -hmm. And when we stop thinking, we start becoming zombies in mm -hmm. systems. Mm -hmm. And that's what exactly people are looking for. But, conformity. But, but you know, you know what, uh, Bishop, what changed the way you view things? Or maybe should I say, what changed your beliefs? Change of belief, transition of belief, 
polishing of belief, application of belief, and consolidating beliefs. D quite a number of variety of issues that are here ringing in my head. Mm. When you're asking me what changed, yeah. social gospel changed me. The way the church looks at uh, land issues mm -hmm. changed me. Mm -hmm. The way the church looks at politics mm -hmm. changed me. Yeah. The way the church looks at education and economics. Mm -hmm. And, and you, you're looking at this body, which is supposed to be an institution of learning mm -hmm. and transformation. From from the church I'm coming from, yeah. six days shall thou labor mm -hmm. and do all thy work. Their mm -hmm. favorite commandment. Yeah. Commandment number four. Mm -hmm. And they say, okay, have we taught people how to labor for six days? Mm -hmm. I, I know we are rushing that they must rest. Yeah. We have church in the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. The issue is not the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. It is illegal for you to rest on Sabbath and you have not worked for six days. Mm -hmm. You can't rest if you have not worked. This is the commandment that okay. teaches us labor. Okay. <laughs> and, and, and so when you have a church that only teaches people how to rest uh -huh. and does not teach people how, how to, to labor oh, yeah. for six days. Yeah. In other words, by keeping the Sabbath, mm -hmm. you are breaking the Sabbath. Because you can't rest if you have not worked. God worked for six days mm -hmm. and he rested. Mm -hmm. And we rest as he has rested. Mm -hmm. Therefore, anyone who says he is a Sabbath keeper and does not respect work and labor mm -hmm. and wealth creation, returning of land to its mm -hmm. rightful owners every 50 mm -hmm. years, bloody hell! These wives <laughs> have held our land for more than 400 years. And the Bible says, bring it back to its original owners. And the church is silent on these yeah, issues. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then I, get, I get worked up. I get worked up. Okay. Because we're holding the Bible here yes. and then we run around tiptoeing, selecting. Yes. Yes. what we think we like <laughs> and because the white people are the owners of the church mm. we tiptoe around them and stuff like that no i've, I've gone past that you know in one of your sermons bishop uh, you talked about uh, you know white jesus in the court um the day a white jesus will die for black people i will believe in a white jesus close court you went on to say a white people and their white jesus promise africans gold in heaven uh, while uh, they are taking gold from africans it doesn't make sense to uh, at all that you are being promised to walk on gold in heaven while <laughs> they are <laughs> taking uh, <laughs> gold from you. Close <laughs> <God. laughs> so please, I want you to elaborate more uh, that, on that statement. The, the whole issue is that when God creates this world, using the biblical narrative, of course, mm -hmm. and he places people, Acts chapter 19, on the faces of the earth, he distributed us in our own tribes and etc. Mm -hmm. and place, so that all of us can look for God, mm -hmm. though he's not far away from any one of yeah. us. Mm -hmm. And we, we, each land has its own wealth, mm -hmm. its own treasure. But then the white people come into black space. And because black people are found not believing the white way, mm. they are labeled as pagans. Mm. So the white people consider themselves as the chosen nation. And they have a right of taking the land which does not belong to them. Mm. But because the, the people who own the land don't believe in God, then the Israel-Palestine model comes into place. Mm. I'll give you a land which belongs to other people. But because they are non-believers, mm. you can have it. Mm -hmm. And when you look at white people beginning to use a religion as a means of colonialism, that's when I have a problem mm, right there. Mm. So we cannot be here be preaching about people walking on the streets of gold mm -hmm. when you have not even touched gold on earth. <laughs> 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 I'm saying in that space, yeah. let's let's learn to work. We cannot we cannot use theology uh -huh. as a means of escaping mm -hmm. our responsibility and our blessings on earth. Uh -huh. Then why did he create us here? Mm -hmm. To do what? To Sa wait for him to come back. Sa Sa kudenga kudenga mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why Jesus walk at me? He's going to take Jesus. We shall know when the end. Oh, take a mirror, kudenga. Is that not mirror, bana? Parakit ga ji baba. Zulu famba se. But in Bible, maja na kuta ori daru zoga. Second coming. Ucha zoga. I pan ma face. I'm singa dugu vering. Occupy till I come. Mm. I want you to be heads, mm. not tails. Mm. But you might own. Genesis chapter 1. Mm. Before even the Ten Commandments in eh, Exodus. Eh. Be fruitful. Multiply. Mm. Fill up the earth. Have dominion mm. and power. Was this dominion only given to white people? <laughs> or the but dominion was given to all of us? Uh -huh. Then why do we allow the white race mm. to become the only ones who must dominate us? Mm. As if we are servants on the commandment that God gave us. And mm. I believe if you want to read the Bible correctly. Yeah. When he says have dominion over the fish of the air, uh. the birds of the air, and the animals of the field, mm. that commandment is to the Red Indian, to the Chinaman, mm -hmm. to the white man, equally so to the mm -hmm. black man. Mm -hmm. So okay. wh what do we have dominion over? Except words. So by saying white Jesus, isn't that uh, you know some kind of a blasphemy or mockery to the uh, Christ? You need to go back into your history, young man, and find out exactly when did the whitening of Jesus happen mm. from the Council of Nicaea. Tell us. The, what, is the original Messiah a white man? Mm. Where is the history of Jesus? What is his background? Who was his mother? Mm. Where is Africa? Why was he hiding in Africa if he was a white man? Did mm. we not see him? 
Are you telling me that the white people came to came to Egypt as slaves? Answer is big fat no. Mm. White people have never been Jews. Mm. In fact, they are they are what called Ashkenaz. Go and read the book, the Thirteenth Tribe by Ford. And you find interesting history mm. that these Jews who call themselves Jews in the book of Revelation 2, they're from the temple of Satan. Mm. They're not even the real Jews. So do you have anything against the Bible? I have nothing against the Bible. Uh -huh. um, the problem is those that interpret it, number one, two, mm -hmm. and uh, those that claim to know the script and they ignore the mm -hmm. historicity of the mm -hmm. text itself. Mm -hmm. The Bible does not just fall from heaven, boom, and mm -hmm. it ends up here. Yeah. You need to go back and read the, mm -hmm. the Anunnaki texts. You need to go back and read the epics of Gilgamesh. You need to go back and read the, the, the Enuma Elish. Mm -hmm. You need to go and read the Book of the Dead. Mm -hmm. You need to go and read and consolidate. The Book of the Dead? Yes, yeah, the Book of Egypt, mm -hmm. which is called the Book of Life or Book of the Dead. Okay. Then you go back and read mm -hmm. the, the cuneiforms and find out the Ethiopian Bible. Mm -hmm. Then come back to Dead Sea Scrolls and then look at the transformation of the Bible. Mm -hmm. And as the Bible is moving towards us, lots of text, lots of uh, references mm -hmm. are falling off. Mm -hmm. Other books are being excluded. <laughs> By the time you have something that you call the Bible, mm -hmm. you're actually having something. You read the Bible saying, for example, as it is written mm -hmm. in the book of uh, Enoch, mm -hmm. as it is written in the book of uh, mm -hmm. the, the, the Anarchs of Samuel. Yeah, yeah. And those books are not there. Mm -hmm. So if you say reading the Apocrypha is sinful, mm -hmm. then how can you be quoting, how can the Bible be quoting the non inspired mm -hmm. and the Bible is, is inspired itself? <laughs> the whole book of Jude <laughs> is a quotation from the book of Enoch. So how can you tell people not to read the book of Enoch? Enoch. And the book of Enoch will tell you that the white people are children of demons. And so the white men will not allow such texts <laughs> to become part of the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> so in other words, uh, I mean, uh, uh, and Rod in Dumbons, which is a part of hey, my message, I got to one day, but in Jazuma and Jazuma, but I got one day. So, what's your take on those who believe in the ancestral spirits? You are your own ancestor, mm -hmm. you are your father, you are your mother. The tree has three elements to it, if not four. Mm -hmm. It is the roots where the background is, it is the trunk itself and the branches. Mm -hmm. It is the fruit that is sitting on the tree. Mm -hmm. And inside the tree is the seed. And the seed is not the branches. Mm -hmm. The branches is not the stem. Mm -hmm. The stem is not the roots. But what is in the seed is in the branches and the root supports everything else. Mm -hmm. Now as a young person you need to know your grandfathers, your forefathers are the roots. Through them mm -hmm. your fathers become. And through your fathers you have become. Very true. Ancestral thing must be understood correctly. This is Wakanaka. Muzi. Umu. Muzi mu. Sorry. Muzi. Muzi. Umu. Umu. Yes. But muzi unu muzi umu. You got uyu. Muzi mu. Muzi mu. Muzi mu. Eh eh. Eh. Umu not ancestors. Eh eh. In broken down. Muzi umu. Umu. Di mai. Muzi mai. Who knows where it is? Muzi mai. Muzi. Di mai. Eh eh. Muzi umu. In other words, from our mothers, mm -hmm. when our fathers meet with our mothers. But show me mukito la babi bishobi. Muzi umu. Andu 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 funza kumuta. But where do, I, where do I get my information? Uh -huh. yes. So I'm downloading to you now. So you, <laughs> that's the time when you listen. All direct also. downloads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So in today's era, Bishop, the number of uh, men of God, you know, is increasing uh, by day. Um, and we don't really know, you know the true and fake prophets as well as their agendas. According to your knowledge, Bishop, do you think they exist? I mean, my prophet. Right. How to get lost in a one room mm, house? Mm, mm. Around a village, one room. Right. Uh -huh. So the whole thing of men of God, it, the church has become a beautiful commercial space. Mm -hmm. It's non taxable space. Mm -hmm. And uh, unfortunately, many of the people who ended up in theology mm -hmm. did not do very well in, uh, in terms of academic work. Okay. And only a few <laughs> who are really academically alert. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, those those that are less mm, 
intellectually mm-hmm. inclined yeah. end up running those that are intellectuals. Mm. Mm. <laughs> but and he was a physician. He was a physician. He was a physician. He was but I mean, when I was in South Africa and we were doing the shows, I'm, uh-huh. I'm a bishop mm-hmm. and I'm a fundis. These are the issues we're trying to mm-hmm. speak. Yeah. Because in the midst of this foolishness, people are not eating snakes. Mm-hmm. People are eating grass. And people are eating doom. Mm-hmm. 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 These these things are not happening. Mm-hmm. We're not taught that yeah. you do things like this. Mm-hmm. So when I see them surely now in my mature age, other ministers performing yeah. such gore and mm. uncircumcised kind of behavior mm. some some righteous indignation boils in my heart <laughs> and said no th- this foolishness <laughs> can't go on extremes. Nah, <laughs> extremes. so in your opinion is there a way of telling that uh, this certain prophet is genuine genuine yam fundisi ne genuine a man of god i think tested by their works mm-hmm. their appetite for money and mm-hmm. the fulfillment of the words in which they are saying so ultimately those who claim mm-hmm. to to have a prophetic gift we just have jump, just come out of covid mm-hmm. right now mm-hmm. a few days ago yeah and all the prophetic ministries were dead mm-hmm. quiet mm-hmm. didn't see it coming yeah so i told them if you did not see it coming mm-hmm. just shut up forever yeah because you're going to tell me that god if we put all the prophets of pop prophets in one room mm. not none of you yeah so this COVID. coming yeah and, and number one number two when you look at the real issues when i when i when i cyclone die mm-hmm. that hit the, the world the country zimbabwe here mm-hmm. and all these prophets are sitting around when you look at where we are right mm-hmm. now in terms of our political our economic the future that we want to de- drive as mm-hmm. a country and all these prophets constantly claim that mm-hmm. they have a prophetic word you know a prophetic word and, and i just want maybe just to say it very loudly come on guys just shut up mm. just shut up and be quiet for a little bit <laughs> go for back a little in bit. go back in your closets and seek for god honestly <laughs> <laughs> the spirit says the spirit says uh, uh, the spirit of the lord says mm, it's not true mm. god says mm, so don't quote god mm, next time he wants to talk to some of us tell him to come directly <laughs> come directly munuya kwa ndiri kwa mfundi but kwa ndine shokora kwa mfundi ndakabudza kwa mfundi zvafurika kwa mfundi ndine shokora ine pakuna jehova ndika ndi mumubudzi umpe address yangu kuti pakati ngawe kwangu iwe na mwali mamchita makuwa pamusoro penyanya ndine ngombe yevu iri ndine kumiga ndine kunzi mu mu fanga indaka Bishop, in our country, we have quite a number of uh, you know, prophets. According to uh, your understanding, uh, can you tell which one is true or fake in our country? Nom drop. I have not. I, I could relate, number one, to the first true prophet being, being Nehanda. Mm-hmm. Nehanda. I could go back to some of names I cannot remember. Our real prophets mm-hmm. who told us before the colonialists came here. Kucha wea barungu. Panengu, barungu, basina mavi. And when those things happen, 40, 50 mm-hmm. years later, mm-hmm. you can go back to those prophecies and actually look at the veracity, mm-hmm. authenticity of those. Because prophecy is not telling me history. Mm-hmm. So if you're going to be telling us stuff, in, the, in Revelation chapter 4, mm-hmm. it says, come up here, come up here, mm-hmm. which is elevation, God saying to John. Mm-hmm. And I will show you so you what just, will come to you, pass. You just mentioned Nehand. Who else? Like in this day and era. I would not want to waste your time, mm-hmm. young man. Every prophet must be judged on the basis of his own words. Mm-hmm. I have not picked up any words from these prophets that have come to pass, except mm. kitchen gossip, uh, relationship <laughs> gossips, and peripheral political commentary, which borders on lambasting each other. I mean, so guys I, like uh, Chiwenga, mm. what is his name? Yeah, the Chiwenga Ab- guy. Apostle Chiwenga. Apostle Chiwenga. Yeah. Goes, on, goes on side the other mm. day. Hey, my ponga is this my pengas. Ndika nda uya man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, kana chiwenga ari po mumudzi mutumire mm-hmm. message kuti uh-huh. munhu ya waita makuwa na Jesu <laughs> vachiti maponga vanopinga. Ndapano <laughs> kana chindi danga uya and I'll tell you it will end up in tears and they won't be mine. <laughs> <laughs> end up in tears. 
So are you Ufari saying oh, so, so are you saying Wona all this profit affects? Wafu nga jitai chino shinya mm. Wafika chima microphone Eh hey, hey. according to what God 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 what Kono Shura mchitele rane Mapana pa wana chuenga Garai pasi But now mbubu za yu profit No mandino wa kutanga Mandino wa kumu wana chuenga Ndamu wa mshinya Ndiyo kutune ropa ili Calm down Bishop God vida pa mani Bishop calm down So what is your advice to people who uh, have forgotten to um, I mean who have gotten to a stage Of uh, worshipping the men of God Their papas Hai papo kana watu wa muna mata papo wako Nga achi tukupa denga racho Nga achi tukufila pa mchinji kwa Nga achi pindule muna mata yako Endi chino ina kizabanya ye ma papa ye They say so a seed So a seed Indiri mwri mikai Tinio zoni dino jaraka Asika nda peza kujara Ndondo saku Kana peza kusakura mfana Ndondo ko So if I'm sowing to the men of God Oh hell no I want to come and join those churches Because I will sow But after sowing, uh, I will come back mm -hmm. to harvest. To harvest. So the question to you, Pentecostals, is all along you've been sowing. Mm -hmm. Sowing to the men of God. When are you going to go to the men of God and harvest? To harvest no, 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 no. I gonna, don't tell me that God will answer you. Mm. We put stickers on our cars mm. so that God can protect us <laughs> from evil in the way we walk around with bodyguards. <laughs> <laughs> you know to Bishop, I'm not brought some church I don't a factory. Factory, no, no manufacturing. We a church. We are church. We are not a church. a factory. Prime factories. But Bishop, do you think people are still believing or uphold the African culture? Colonialism is a thorough project mm -hmm. that drives people away from themselves into a fake zombie coconut space mm. where you remain brown outside but mm. white on the inside mm. the quality of the corruption of the software means that when an african is there educated and polished mm -hmm. he must have as little mm -hmm. to do with his culture as possible mm -hmm. so that's why you find that the most educated countries particularly in africa mm -hmm. are less cultured zimbabwe become the best example best are you saying we are less cultured? listen to me the best mm. illiteracy rate mm. almost in one one of the best in the world mm -hmm. but you come here we don't even have a national dress We don't have a culture. We don't have nothing to do. Nothing that we can identify with. We printed some small little cloth that has some triangles on it. But, uh, and I'm told uh, Bishop, that this is our culture. Bishop, Bishop, hold on there. I want to know something. I want to find out from you, uh, Bishop. Define culture. Culture is currency. Culture is currency. Culture determines how you marry. Culture determines how you take land. Culture determines how you make money. Culture determines how you relate with each other. Culture looks at how you dress. So are you culture, saying how you educate. The, okay, fine. From so the, culture is not just ancestral. Okay, from from I mentioned now, yeah. as Zimbabweans, are you saying we don't have that? We don't have an, an Afrocentric mm -hmm. way of making money. Chinya karetaita zunde. Wano wunga na pangu chiti, tutu katu sakura pangu chiti. Muna gana sana ngombe, tumpa ngombe, tumpa rimis. Tumpa ngwesi zira, tumpa mbeu. Kuna chua shara pura na pano, nukura uje, usasenga. This was actually a way of working together. Mushandira pangwe, it goes now. Kuna mushandira, we don't have a community chairs. Ujuda mari wenda kubank, bank wajwa uko unyungwa mari wajwa. So the way in which we are doing our financing is not rooted in what I might call indigenity. In a contextual environment which is friendly to our indigenous ways of making money. The way we are marrying is not, it's not. We are spending 20, 60,000 for my venue. Ukundu fake zina zuma ring, taka fake ngubu chena, tida mudini white wedding. But are you not aware that a white wedding is actually equals culture, white culture, as much as an African wedding is also equal to culture. So you don't even believe in a white wedding? Follow me carefully. If a white wedding, is it that not white culture? So you would rather say I'm doing a white wedding because I'm now fully colonized. Oh, white wedding. Yeah, it's even called a white wedding. Kutu di white wedding, it's not even cheese. Do you like to say cheese? Sumurungu. Okay. Sina white weddings wedu sita kachata mwe. Sinora rama mama kule mangani. Sinora rama minu kura rama. Sinungu putzika na kutu weddings is not about you putting on a white dress. It's about families coming together. It's about joining the DNAs of families and allowing that symbiosis of relationships to start. And we get married in town by ourselves with major streets. And those things collapse. Time ndere ngo mbanya bishop. I still have a lot of questions, you know. But anyways, we talked about the religion side, bishop. How does, I mean, the love for writing come in? 
love right my father was a publishing director mm-hmm. so i grew up in a room full of books okay and i was, I was pushing books as mm-hmm. part of my toys <laughs> and uh, I, I, he used to give me book imagine, imagine i was mm-hmm. think i was doing my form one uh-huh. my father gave me a book the art of getting along with people mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. no real content stuff yeah. you know and, yeah. Yeah. and i started learning the, mm-hmm. the, the, the science of of and loving writing yeah co- co- collecting information mm-hmm. consolidating it and putting it up front there and so it's, I, I think it's inborn and uh, it has been developed. Yeah. yeah. We are live on the Facebook page, Star FM page, as well as my Facebook page, DJ Ola 7 Star FM. So you are an author of of, of books, namely uh, Shopping Skills. I've Boy. done about six or seven. Books. Yeah. 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 Just to mention a few. But uh, where do you draw the inspiration from? You know, and e- in each book, what is the message behind it? When I look around the community and I see what's happening, you know, when I did So You Want to Be the Master, mm-hmm. it was the whole issue around uh, how do you transform yourself to mm-hmm. become the change that you want to become. Mm-hmm. Then when I did Women mm-hmm. in the Kitchen, on another day, I'll come and tell you my personal life journey. Oh, yeah. I think maybe there's an ongoing conversation True. as to what placed me there. Yes. Then you, you begin to hear about my mm-hmm. family, my personal life. Mm-hmm. Because many people are interested in that because yeah. that's the tabloid yeah. that's, that gets everyone excited. Exactly, so exactly. If you want the juicy stuff, mm-hmm. let's share it for another day. Yeah. Women in the Kitchen, now I was looking after my two girls. Uh, four years and six years mm-hmm. old. After my, after Madame had left to mm-hmm. work somewhere else, yeah. and there was a complication of the relationship. Mm. And I had work in the kitchen now, so I'd build up work, women in the kitchen. Mm. As as uh, had women understood what they were doing in the kitchen, and had my wife understood what was happening, mm-hmm. maybe this couldn't have happened. So it was yeah. a debate uh, between myself uh, as I was putting myself in a woman's role. Mm-hmm. Then going places in the spirit, I was doing my research on uh, how do you become spiritual mm-hmm. from African tradition to Islam to traditional. Uh, medicines mm-hmm. witchcraft and what and yes. everything i even i even went to spend some days with credo mutua himself mm. in, in the northern cape and wow sat down with him there for for days and mm-hmm. learning and listening mm-hmm. and, and the whole church was mad yeah <laughs> and he's an elder yeah. And if, if I'm doing a research, mm-hmm. my research must be honest. Mm-hmm. And I'll go and ask. If the devil had an address, mm. I would go to the devil and ask. <laughs> 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 so don't allow, when you're doing research, don't mm-hmm. don't speak for people. Mm-hmm. Allow the people to speak for themselves. Yeah. And I think this makes a difference mm-hmm. in terms of my learning curve. Because then I, I, have a, I have an opportunity of going there empty. Mm-hmm. I know nothing. Mm-hmm. And allow people to express themselves. Mm. So, and uh, African solutions, African questions, yeah. my interactions with kings and politicians, yeah. and beginning to formulate a political sort of an agenda item mm-hmm. for yeah. United Kingdoms yeah. of Africa, which is a project I'm busy with right now. And then shopping skills, mm-hmm. as my daughters were getting old, and I'm saying, how do I cancel them now? Let mm-hmm. me put, put on some. So my daughter actually edited the book and wrote the forward wow. on the book, and etc. And nice. we packaged. So, so some of the stuff is personal. Mm-hmm. So it's only that people are privileged. Mm. To, to to hear me thinking loudly yeah, yeah, and writing yeah. my own stuff and you don't have to like what I'm saying. Mm. 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 In 2018, Bishop Mabonga, you appeared before uh, before the courts in South Africa after you spoke uh, derogatory uh, names concerning uh, homosexuals. Uh, you said they are lower than animals. Uh, what me, made me, you say that, Bishop? Me, I'm kind. Mm. The guys are illustration, not you. Mm. When two male dogs are playing together, mm. when time for mating comes, mm. they look for a f- for a female. Mm. And our young men no longer know the difference. Mm. Why turn the Mabonga said we are dogs mm-hmm. that no dogs are uh, actually you are missing it mm-hmm. because the illustration is saying dogs are not mm-hmm. <laughs> homosexual mm-hmm. so you, you are so the whole the whole extrapolation and interpretation was actually misplaced <laughs> again it's selective listening but this, saying having said that mm-hmm. we have the constitution of south africa on one side we have the bible on the other side and uh, that's where actually the show my bishop mm-hmm. came from mm-hmm. because then you say if the bible says this about homosexuality mm-hmm. and the constitution says this about the homosexuality you as a church which one do you want to accept? Mm. And I wanted to make it clear. If we want to go with the Constitution, then throw away this damn Bible. Mm. Put it away. Because it's, not, it's irrelevant. But if you want to stand with the text, <laughs> then you, you better start questioning this Constitution mm. and transform mm. it. But the church <laughs> is not willing to put itself in, into that complicated position. Uh-huh. And that's where my argument was. And unfortunately, the whole church but stood ch- back. Church is supposed to be when you get. That's, that's, that's the whole idea. Mm. Homosexuals are fine. 
then follow it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so put the Bible away. The, our new Bible, as you are saying it, our new Bible is the Constitution. But were you somehow offended by someone you know, of that, of that, of that, of that nature uh, for you to say such derogatory names to other human beings? I have worked in the, in the media space for the longest of time. Mm -hmm. it, would be, it would be unwise for me to say. I did your celebration for some time. Yeah. We, did, you know, we worked some stuff. Nana saw me see. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. I'm talking about 1997, mm. 98, before this whole thing was even popular. Yeah, I've yeah. worked in, in, in this space for the longest of time. Mm -hmm. It was not from anger and anything. Yeah. My, my argument was an academic question mm. of dogma yeah. and theological interpretation mm -hmm. of text that if you say that homosexuality must be tolerated, mm. are we using the constitution as a basis of the argument or are we using the Bible as that? Mm. And if we're using the Bible, then how do we account for all these verses? Yes, yes. That actually they must be stoned, mm. they must be killed, they must what? And has God changed on that? Or we're now interpreting around that? Mm. And how the white man convinced an African to become homosexual mm. and throw away polygamy? Only the devil knows. <laughs> throw away poly <laughs> polygamy. So that was Bishop Mavoka on the spot. You were allegedly deported from uh, South Africa after staying there for, a, for over a decade. Uh, but in your defense, you said uh, you were forced to leave. What made you oh, relocate uh, back I home? Have Zimbo life. No, I have Zimbo life. Hey. I have a Zimbo life. If you want news, I have a phone call. I have a phone call. I have a South Africa. I have a phone call. I have a phone call. I have a phone call. I have a South Africa twice a week. Mm -hmm. Once a week, my family is there. My children are there. So what made them say that? I used to do lots of commentary on the South African politics. Yes. All right. Give you a good background. Mm -hmm. Now, I hope Zimbo life you're listening. Mm -hmm. And Zim TV. Mm -hmm. Now listen and have the story from the horse mouth. <laughs> so I'm there and I'm commenting on the South African stories and I'm commenting. And this South African starts writing, Maponga, why are you giving us all this good advice? Mm -hmm. Go home mm -hmm. and fix your own country. Mm -hmm. So it went on for some time. Oh, Subtly yeah. people were saying mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Then one morning actually I woke up and I, and I said to myself, enough of this. Mm -hmm. Then I said, thank you very much South Africa. I've taken your advice. Mm -hmm. I am going back home, home to fix my country. Mm -hmm. And I packed my bags. And I came. Mm -hmm. When people read that, then they ran to the story. My has been deported. Mm. How can I be deported? My, I have my ID. Mm. <laughs> Six nine zero zero. I can't tell the all I mm -hmm. I have my ID. I have yeah. my passport. Mm -hmm. I have my permits. Mm -hmm. All of my board. And and the day they say I was deported, then they saw me in Zimbabwe. Here. But airport. The following day, they see me in South Africa. Exactly. Why not medicine? Mm. So no one knows who medicine. Go what deport you? You know, I say, I'm not going to be bombed. You know, one of these, um, of course, but, I'm, but I'm you're not full time in Zimbabwe. I'm full time, 80%. I'm here. Mm -hmm. See how people are being sensitive. I'm actually mm -hmm. building my grandfather's old homestead. Oh, nice. Yeah, Pandagas, the around of where I was mm -hmm. born from. Yes, I've just finished completing it. Wow, and uh. I want to go there and spend some few nights mm -hmm. and get that that was my landing strip mm -hmm. yeah and actually if I, if the heavens can hear me mm -hmm. i want to depart from the same place mm -hmm. yeah and uh you know my papa my papa my papa is because there was a campaign you know hashtag put south africans first uh, that initiated that you leave their country because uh you were too involved in south african issues and uh, what gave you the strength you know, our bishop or authority to speak your mind freely in country yeah, yeah. that is high rate of crime, way were, were you not even afraid, you know, to lose your life? Maybe South Africa is a violent country mm -hmm. by all means, by, by all practical words. Mm -hmm. But when you look at the duplication of the plight of the African child, mm -hmm. from the banks of the River Nile to the banks of Congo, Zambezi, Limpopo, mm -hmm. and the VAR, you notice that there's nothing special about South Africans. Mm -hmm. There's nothing special about Zimbabweans. Mm -hmm. There's nothing special about Ethiopians. Our battle is the same, mm -hmm. and when 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 it, when it dawned on me the the, civil, the the independence of African countries from Kwame Nkrumah, from Ujamaa in Tanzania to mm -hmm. the Mau Mau Wars in in Kenya yep. to Chimurenga here, Mkondo Sisi in South Africa, mm -hmm. and you look at the constant repetition of put a black man in power, mm -hmm. corrupt him, accuse him of crime, then rubbish the government, and then downgrade them one after another. We mm -hmm. are there right now mm -hmm. with our country, Zimbabwe. And if those who thought South Africa was paradise, Jacob Zuma is in court right now. Mm -hmm. Ramaphosa has been dragged to court. Mm -hmm. So it looks like this recipe mm -hmm. of duplication of how Africans are failing. We, and some of us, who we are intelligent, by mm -hmm. the way, particularly you university mm -hmm. students, mm -hmm. there's a bigger agenda yeah. behind this whole structure mm -hmm. here. And I want to maybe just address one. For example, in Zimbabwe here, people are complaining about water, mm -hmm. hey, you're going to put holes, hey, Zimbabwe, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you aware that the Harari was built 
f- to, re- to reside how many people? Mm. Let's say 60,000. Mm-hmm. So they build a water dam and water facility that would look after 60,000. Mm-hmm. They build power stations that would look after 60,000. White, by the way. And they build up roads mm. that can look after 60,000. Electricity and uh, amenities. And that's it. After independence, boom, 1.5 million people mm-hmm. come on the infrastructure. Yeah. Then you hear people matching on like, like, on like, on Hey, hospital apparently just dilapidated. It's not dilapidation. Mm-hmm. It's overpopulation. The problem of urbanization is urbanization. Until our governments begin to think how do we build new cities, we cannot expand the city beyond the capacity for which it was built for. You cannot be putting new houses, Zwaraseko, mm-hmm. Chitungwiza, what what, and all people are driving to Harare. Mm-hmm. Harare is not expanding in terms of creating new jobs. You better put new industries where people are so that you can release the pressure for transport mm-hmm. and the infrastructure issues are released. But as long as you are crowding, Kufana <laughs> Ugarza around 200 in house. Munukwana si. And this is the problem of Africa, but it's not Zimbabwe only. Uh, Johannesburg is the same thing. Mm-hmm. Once you see a city beginning to have traffic jams, mm-hmm. It's first indication mm-hmm. that the capacity of the city is now stretched mm. beyond its limits. On you must just follow that line to the hospitals, to the to the sewage systems, mm. to the water, to the electricity, and you'll find that the economy starts struggling. Yeah, that's so profound. You know, according to the Daily Sun, in October 2020, it reported that you had an affair with uh, a 29-year-old. She allegedly sent you a message on social media asking for spiritual guidance for hair calling. So you then referred her to your Sangoma friend, but you and kept by the inter- way, the, the Sangoma has just passed. She passed away yesterday. Oh, so sad. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah. So you then referred that to that song, you know, but you kept in touch uh, and ended up uh, rom- romantically involved. So, conducted for comment, you denied the allegations of having an affair, instead, admitted that you knew the girl. Please explain to us, Bishop, actually, what the, really transpired. The, the, the issue is in court, actually, mm. because Ash- Ashram Solomon then fueled the whole story mm. to drive it the other direction. Oh, and, yeah. and media, loving media, yeah. the other day I had an affair, uh, and the girl about it, the other day I was deported. Mm. And, and when you get into a space of function, yeah. sometimes it's not good to be chasing every rabbit and, yeah. and, yeah. and thing that comes past mm. your house. And uh, p- people have their challenges in life. True. But in all honesty, sometimes I think as media people, we need the responsible reporting. Mm-hmm. And yes, the, 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 the story happened in that I referred her to the, f- the Sango, my friend was mm-hmm. supposed to help her. Yeah. Her infatuations and her other, you know, sideline issues. Mm-hmm. You can ask all pastors. I've not, and fortunate enough, mm-hmm. 33 years later, having worked in the church, mm-hmm. uh, I'm not new to this kind of yes. space. I'm mm-hmm. not new to, to, to being accused and being caught up in, in, in gossip and mm-hmm. stuff like that. You need to pick up yourself as a man sometimes who knows what he wants to do and walk on the high road. So was she lying then? She lied half of the story. She mm-hmm. lied half of the story. She came to Johannesburg for interviews. She came to meet up there. Some woman, she mm-hmm. concocted quite a number of unconsolidated un- stories and mm-hmm. stuff like that. And, mm-hmm. and of course, she wanted to extort money from me at a later stage. We, that's when I went up to the courts. Actually, mm-hmm. the, the issue is still in courts. To say the least, maybe mm-hmm. let me say adjudicate mm-hmm. then so that I don't implicate myself. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Okay, uh, I understand. So, um, do you deny uh, the part that you were romantically involved with her and that, you know, uh, never asked her to become your second wife? Ah, uh, no, man. I, I have my wife. I have a second wife. My mm-hmm. first wife is in London. Mm-hmm. We parted away three years ago with mm-hmm. my two daughters, etc. I have a wife now. So how can she become a second wife? She must, she must, she just, she's a second, she must be the third wife third or fourth wife. wife. Yeah. So if she says she wants to be the second wife, then she means she doesn't even know what she's talking mm. about. Mm. She's, she, she's a miss of my mm-hmm. conversation. Yeah. But her, her, her desire to be in my space and uh, think that she wants to ride on mm-hmm. the media space, print some t-shirts for and help farmers of thought mm-hmm. and what and what. And <laughs> I gave her a contract, actually, to be honest. I mm. gave her a contract to print some t-shirts mm. and la 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 so that also she could make a... But uh, as you know, I think when women pass 29 and they've mm-hmm. not been married, and sometimes they get desperate in very confused ways, and uh, <laughs> it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. Yeah. So what do you think, you know, uh, was the reason for the lady to speak ill uh, of you? Mm-hmm. I cannot speak and speculate on her behalf. Mm-hmm. It would be responsible on my side. Yeah. So um, uh, do you still talk to her? Ah, no, I, I, I stop, I, I'm not talking to her. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's Bishop, I'm, as I mentioned earlier, you have so many titles to your name. You know, how do you find the balance uh, in your busy schedule? Mm. What's your name? Ola Seven. Ola Seven. Your yeah. husband? Yes. 
you have a child. So you are a father. True. You are a presenter. Mm. You are a neighbor. You are a friend. You are a brother. How many are you? <laughs> One. But you are able to function mm. in a multi space. And I think maybe if you are looking at some of our lives, you need to plural them in that fashion. Mm. That I could be a writer, mm -hmm. and I could be a cultural person, I could be a theological person, mm -hmm. and I could be a presenter. I could be, I could be, I could be. Yes. So, and, and, and you, the question is, you just don't become a husband to your children, mm -hmm. and you don't become a father to your wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so just basically separate. The, but the principle, philosophically speaking, mm -hmm. English, English schools say you must be this or that. Mm -hmm. In farmers of thought, we say you can be this and that. That. And oh. That mm. and that change between all mm -hmm. to end mm. makes the whole difference. In other words, you can have your career right mm -hmm. now. You can do another career until you develop what mm. we call in yes. farmers of thought seven streams of income. Wow! Where you, seven streams. You are not of allowed income. to have one set of income. Yeah, you must have seven streams of income. Mm. So go back to your village, to your mother's place. Mm -hmm. You get some income from that. Yeah, you get a chance to do some chicken, do something. Mm -hmm. You get a chance to do some trading, do something. Then you have a chance to do your work here, do mm. something, and etc. So plural your life and spread your risk. So what do you enjoy uh, doing during your spare time, if ever you have any? I enjoy making clothes. I enjoy playing music. I play more than 15 music instruments. Mm. So I, I make some music. I have a catalog wow. of more than 600 songs. Wow. Which has not yet been put in the market. Yeah. I want to create a, a hub, mm -hmm. like a, 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 an app. Mm -hmm. with, then I can spread the music in terms of my experience. Oh, yes. And the person can get in there and mm -hmm. sock themselves up. Mm -hmm. I've also submitted about 18 songs to Hollywood for, mo for movies. Yeah, for movies. Wow. That is through lalela.com. You mm -hmm. can Google it up, yeah. www.lalela.com, mm -hmm. and then search for Joshua Maponga. Mm -hmm. I've submitted to Hollywood, and uh, I've been paid handsomely for that. Wow. And uh, so many ways of doing mm -hmm. making money. Making money, yeah, true. Some books on Amazon, mm -hmm. and etc. And, so, and over and above that, then the motivational talks. Mm -hmm. I'm saying this so that young people would think that I came to Zimbabwe mm. to look for money. No, <laughs> man. I live in a three, four, five million rand house with six, seven cars in wow. my house. I have a Rolls Royce. I in South Africa. Range Rovers and mm. stuff like that. But that's not the issue. Yeah, yeah. My coming back home, it does not mean that I've failed. Mm. I've not failed. It's yeah. passion. Yeah. Passion for where I'm coming from. <laughs> in this, it's love for my country, which brings me here. Yeah. Yes. So how can people get in touch with you, uh, Bishop? If you're looking for me, you'll find me. If you look for me with all your heart. <laughs> on uh, on Twitter, Vuzijana J. On um, uh, Instagram, mm -hmm. Maponga J. On uh, Facebook, uh, Farmers of Thought, Maponga J, Joshua mm -hmm. Maponga. And uh, man, that, that's it. And I think I have a, a local number, which I, there's a WhatsApp group there also for those who might want to get in touch. Yeah, but sure. But I, I, I don't know it by heart. You know the number you're calling me on? The, the one that ends with 22 something at the end? Try and give them that number. Yeah, maybe let's yeah, get the number from the producer. And you can also find me on Telegram, which is the most active place. There's a library that I've put there with more than 3,000 African books. Okay. So you can just go on, uh, on te download the app, uh, Telegram, mm -hmm. and then go on FOT, Farmers of Thought mm -hmm. Reading Club. FOT, then uh, Reading Club. Mm -hmm. Then you'll find me right there. It's a group, I think, more than 5,000, 4,000, 5,000 people. So the number is 0719 uh, 425406 0719 425406 Ndo pamunukwaza kubata WhatsApp number ya Bishop Maponga Bishop, tunokutende nekwe kwa maita kuyo studio pa on the spot Thank you so much for, you know Wonderful, time. next time is me who must be interviewing you Yes, no problem yeah. are, are you ready? I'm very ready Okay <laughs> Fantastic. And that was on the spot, uh, you know, to now we tell us good news, good news, good My name is Owen, we come on to all of seven, the chief air marshal, the vocation master, you know, uh, back again tomorrow on the spot. I think I was very good, you wanted to know what you do, you want to watch the My, my, my comments, I can wonder what about the next time, I'm going to watch the next time. I'm going to watch the next time, I'm going to watch the on the spot. Say colors, my banditi, I'm going to watch the next full time. So you can follow me on Instagram at DJ Ola7, a Facebook page, DJ Ola7 Star FM. Don't forget to follow us on the big one, it's Start from Zimbabwe. Kwanas, bye bye. Big shout out to the uh, crew behind the scenes. That's Nigga tonight. Dingana, the producer, and also uh, Mike Lord Five Mushunja, the guy behind the cameras. Kwanas, bye bye.